today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! <laughs> hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Well, guys, should I go with the rocket flying through space or the hideous sun demon's battle for supremacy? Huh? Huh? Uh, I like the rocket because the demons scare me. I also prefer the rocket. The exhaust flames are blue, which is scientifically correct for this model of spacecraft. Well, Lloyd, what do you think? I think we're in the mall here, guys. We should be looking at girls or, or onion rings, not ties. What can I do, Lloyd? My dorky cousins are coming for the holiday weekend, and my mom says I gotta look nice. Those are the breaks. All I can say is, thanks, Zemo. I'm not doing any boring family junk this weekend. Why not, Lloyd? After all, it's not every weekend we celebrate the birthday of President Porkintuff. Hey, that may be what you and everybody else around here is gonna be celebrating, but I'm celebrating F-U-N. You're celebrating a phone? No, Kurt. Fun! I'm gonna go to the movies and watch back-to-back -back showings of Return of Inversion Guy. I'm gonna drink big lorps until I burp loud enough to break my personal best. Pop rocket bike wheelies on top of the station. Shall I go on? Aw, oh, man, I wish I could join you, buddy. Not to worry, Eddie. I'll drop you a line from Fun Central, where I'll be having the greatest weekend in history. But, Mom, I was going to have the greatest weekend in history. But we are, Lloyd. We're spending the entire three days at Zizmo Beach Family Fun Planet. Hooray! Zizmo Beach? You gotta be kidding! You used to love Zizmo Beach. Yeah, because I was a little kid. I didn't know any better. The whole place is full of junky, run-down, stupid, boring, corny baby rides. Sounds super fun to me. See? That proves how lame it is. Oh, come on, Lloyd. It'll be fun. On the way back, I thought we could eat at McZorks like we used to. The place with the crowns? Ooh, I love that place. And then we could sing car songs while driving home like we used to do. Yeah! If you're at the end, you know, wiggle your antenna. If you're at the end, Boring! No. Mom, I'm not 12 anymore. I'm a teenager. Please don't make me go. But, Lloyd, I wouldn't feel right leaving you here all alone for the weekend. Station won't even be here to watch you. That's right, Lloyd. I'm being shut down for my annual hardware overhaul. Ooh! Ooh! Someone's just opened my access panel. Well, ta-ta, Nebulon family! I'm sorry, Lloyd, but I am not going to leave you home by yourself for three whole days. But, Mom! Hello? Oh, hello, Lloyd. I was calling to inquire if you... Asked my mom yet? Or asked your mother what? You know, about your generous offer today to have me come sleep over at your place this weekend. Lloyd, I'm afraid I don't quite follow. Of course you do, Douglas. We talked about it at school, at lunch, in the cafeteria. Remember? Oh, I suppose. Okay! Did you hear that, Mom? Douglas is counting on me to come over to his place this weekend. He was telling me what a terrible time he was expecting to have without me over to help liven things up. Nora? Oh, hello, Viv. So what's all this the boys are saying? Why, hello, Mrs. McNoggin. Douglas was just inviting me over for the weekend. Oh, is that correct, sweetheart? Er, I suppose, Mother, in a manner of speaking. Well, that's wonderful. We'd love to have Lloyd spend the weekend with us. Well, thank you, Viv. That's very kind of you. Thanks for the invite, Douglas. See ya! Er... Yes! <laughs> Lloyd is not going to Lamo Beach. I don't have to go, oh, I don't have to go, oh, I don't have to go, oh. I read your mind, Lloyd. You never had plans with Douglas. You made it all up just so you didn't have to go. Uh, I don't have the slightest idea what you're talking about. Well, I'm glad you're not going. Now I get the front seat all to myself. La, 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 la. The greatest weekend in history. Well, so long, you two. Enjoy the family fun part thing. We will, Lloyd. Now, I want you to mind your manners while staying with the McNoggins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manners. Got it. Ugh. You want to beat the traffic around the moons of Zorn, so you should probably get moving. Viv? Walter? Thanks again for allowing Lloyd to sleep over. It's no problem at all, Nora. Have an inert gas at Zizmo Beach. <laughs> Have fun without me. Don't forget to wash behind your antenna. My man, ready to start the greatest weekend in history? Positively, Lloyd! Well, you should be ready, boys, because we're all gonna have fun with a capital F. Right, gang? Right! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Mr. and Mrs. McNoggin, I gotta say, things sure are looking up for the big three-day weekend. Thanks for dinner, and 
thanks for letting me hang out with you guys. Think nothing of it, Lloyd. We're elated to have you. Indeed. I dare say, Douglas, it was a veritable stroke of genius for you to include Lloyd in our plans. Your compliment is most appreciated, Mother. Although I must share some credit with Lloyd, who inspired the notion to begin with. Is that so? Well, then all due accolades to you, Lloyd. Kudos on your initiative. Uh, yeah, like I always say. Ah, here we are. Ah, salutation, Cerebella. Nice to see girl. you, girl. There's nothing like the unconditional love of a family pet. She's a heartwarming hoot. Uh-huh. But hey, I've got an idea. What do you say we actually head inside now and kick this fun-filled weekend into gear? I concur. Come along. Now, Lloyd, we've had a lengthy discussion about your sleeping arrangements. Yes, and after carefully weighing a variety of options, we've decided you should sleep in Douglas's room with Douglas. I was the primary proponent of that viewpoint, Lloyd. I felt it would be the most efficient arrangement. And also allow for the highest probability of nighttime goofiness. Good thinking, Douglas. I'll go stick my junk in your room. Then the two of us boys will just toddle off to the mall so you grown-ups can do whatever fun grown-up stuff you've got planned. <laughs> Surely you just, Lloyd. Uh, I do? Why, certainly. The mall is the last place I would want to be on a Friday night. Uh, it is? Well, I suppose there's no reason for you to have known, Lloyd, but Friday night is game night at the McNoggin residence. Yes, game night, when through the magic of good-natured competition, our humble abode transforms into Excitement Central. Oh, well, I guess that could be fun. What do you play? The game is Lobe Mania. Lobe Mania? I don't think I've seen that one in the stores. Is it new? <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd, Lobe Mania has been played by our species for over ten centuries. Wow, then I guess it's gotta be good. How do you play? It's quite simple, really. I'll flash a pattern of light and sound signals using only my brain lobes. Like this. Then everyone else tries to duplicate the pattern exactly. Oh, but I, uh, kind of don't have a big, huge brain for a head like you guys. No problem, Lloyd. You can wear the guest helmet. Hey, look at me. I'm a regular McNuggin. Ha! Okay, let's play. Splendid. I shall be the Pattern Master. Round one. Um, uh, hey, I did it. Well done, Lloyd. Round two. Um, close enough. Let's say we call that a gimme. Splendid suggestion. Premium idea. Round three. Say, uh, aren't you guys going kind of fast? Excuse me? Too fast? Goodness, Father. It just occurred to me that you forgot to explain the most important rule of all. Oh, yes. My apologies, Lloyd. This will help you understand. You see, in low mania, we progressively increase the number and speed of flashes and tones per round based upon a binary slope. Hence, every pattern begets a pattern equal to its own system of flashes and tones. Times two. Simply keep in mind the equation x equals two to the power of y, where x is the current pattern and y is the number of the round in which you're currently playing. You can't go wrong. You mean you gotta do math in this game? But of course. That's what makes it fun. Let us continue. Round four. Say, you know what? How about if you guys go ahead and play without me? You don't want to play? Flabbergasting. Once we get going at supersonic frequencies, low mania becomes a real crack up. That's what I figured. But I think right now I'd just like to, you know, not play. Please, you guys keep going. I'll just watch from the couch. Well, I... Suppose. That's very sweet of you, Lloyd. No problem. It is family game night, after all. Hey, you girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at this. It appears as though our Friday night foursome is together again. <laughs> Round five. I'm sorry you opted out of low media. It was so fun that time flew by at light speed. That's okay, Douglas. Two hours of sitting on a couch isn't so bad. Not when you've got a whole weekend of fun to look forward to. Right? Well said. Although I'm still not quite clear on why you decided to enjoy your weekend fun with my family instead of your own. Well, Doug, you can't date your family when you're on a trip with them. I suppose that would be difficult. Torn straight. The beauty of staying here with your family is that we can blow out of here anytime we want and actually have some fun doing the stuff we want to do. 
Maybe say we start tomorrow off with a delightful wheelie poppin' expedition to the top of the station. Er, that sounds like fun, Lloyd, but perhaps huh? another time. Another time? What do you mean? As it turns out, my mother and father have a plethora of delightful activities planned for the next three days. Tomorrow, we're going to the Museum of Conundrums and Theoretical Anomalies. I've got to spend a whole day of my vacation at a museum? Oh, you'll love it, Lloyd. And don't let family game night worry you. From now on, I'll make sure you fit in just fine with the McNoggins. Oh, boys. Lights out. Good night. Good night, Sarah Bella. Good night, dear. Good night, dear. Good night, boys. Good night, Sarah Bella. <laughs> Good night, Sarah Bella. Good night, mother. Good night, father. Pleasant rapid eye movement. Good night, Lloyd. Make yourself at home. The couch pulls out into a guest bed. Finally, some sleep. It'll be the funnest part of the evening. Oh. <sighs> Man, I already need a vacation for my vacation. Yeah! Rise and shine, sleepyhead! Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. So, how did you sleep, Fred? Mm, all bent up, mostly. I'm sorry. I forgot we have such a lumpy guest jar. But say, that's no problem. Tonight you can sleep on the floor. Great. Gotta swab my wrinkles. Get dressed, Lloyd. We've got a big day ahead of us. Hello! Hey, Lloyd! I'm on the phone with you! How was your big fun weekend? Kurt, it's terrible! I'm having the worst time of my life! And actually, oh, buddy, I was hoping you could help me out. Gee, Lloyd, it sure is a big surprise to have you staying with us this weekend! It is a happy surprise! The pleasure's all mine, Mr. and Mrs. Bloberts. I'm grateful to Kurt for inviting me. Lloyd hated Douglas's house! He was having a miserable time! Oh, ha! I wouldn't put it that way exactly. I just got the feeling they wanted some privacy. You know, for all their big family plans and junk. Well, we don't really do much planning. I hope you don't mind us dragging you over to the mall for the big movie premiere. Not at all, Mrs. Bloberts. Coming to see this movie has been tops on my list all weekend. Yay! That makes me relieved. Hey, Lloyd, you can sit next to me. Hey, no! Little sisters. Don't worry about it, buddy. This movie's gonna be so cool, even a guy's little sister can't bug me. Hello, good evening, welcome. Can I help you? Can you ever? You sure you can. I would like five tickets to the premiere of Misty the Homesick Snorky Puff Part 3. Yay! Are you guys kidding? Misty the Homesick Snorky Puff is a baby movie. I thought we were gonna see Return of Inversion Guy. Inversion Guy? That's scary. There's bad guys in that movie. Gee, Lloyd. What are you trying to do? Give my parents nightmares? N no, sorry. I got a feeling you didn't see the first two Snorky Puff movies, Lloyd. Just you watch. You're gonna love it. Now, Misty was a curious Snorky Puff. Maybe a little too curious. Say, what's that? Misty asks herself. Looks kind of wet. Better check it out. Careful, Misty. That's a puddle. <laughs> oh, well, Misty. I tried to warn you. <laughs> Misty dried off in the sun and walked onward looking for her home. Before her lay the valley of danger, which was full of more puddles and many thorn bushes. Would you like some fried Norflats, Lloyd? Huh? Oh, sure. Thanks, Mrs. Bloberts. Well, Lloyd, didn't I tell you? Wasn't Misty the Homesick Snorky Puff Part 3 the best movie ever? Uh, sure, Mr. Bloberts. I like how Misty kept falling into puddles. That just kept getting funnier and funnier every time. She almost walked into a thorn bush. I cried with happiness when she got away. I think we all did. Yeah, well, that was pretty cool, all right. But I was wondering, I mean... Now that we watched that movie three times in a row, how about if Kurt and I go out after dinner and see Inversion Guy? Doesn't that sound like a great idea? <laughs> You're a funny crack-up. I am? Lloyd, it's almost 7.30. That's bedtime. You guys go to bed at 7.30? How else would we have time for a bedtime story? <laughs> all right, Kurt, are you all snuggled in? Uh-huh. Good. Here's our book for tonight. <laughs> Misty the Homesick Snorky Puff Part 3! Oh, boy! This is Misty! Misty is a homesick snorky puff snorky puff! Oh. Lloyd, what are you doing here? Eddie, 
I am here to save you. Hey, hey, Lloyd, come on in. Okay, but just for a minute. Then we'll ditch this whole family reunion thing of yours and take off to see him virgin guy. What do you say? Hey, everyone, this is Lloyd. Hey, hey Lloyd. Lloyd. That's my cousin Freddie and my cousin Betty and my cousin Teddy and my cousin Nettie and my cousin Hetty. All you guys have names that rhyme? Huh. I never thought of that before. Hey, Eddie, your dad's doing his famous impressions. Come on. Everyone ready? Are you ready, Frank? Frank? Oh, man, Lloyd, this is your lucky day. Dad's impressions are hilarious. Really? I guess I could check it out. You're a pretty good judge of funny. Scoot over, cuz. Cuz? Why? <laughs> <clears throat> From a first impression, Nana Horton getting ready for Thanksgiving. I was planning to serve mashed potatoes, but then I found out Reginald was coming. <laughs> Yeah, with the capital F. After my next impression, Grandpa Horton putting on his socks. I told you I was colorblind. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Now's our chance. Let's sneak out of here. Sneak out of here? Now? Well, we're going down to the park for the annual Horton picnic. But, but, Eddie, I was going to save you. Sorry, man. Hey, maybe we can sneak out after a couple neutrino dogs. Oh. Now, you want to watch those neutrino dogs, son. Nobody likes a burnt dog, except your Aunt Rose and Toby. What do I do? Turn them like this? Good, good. Nice technique. In another, oh, 32 seconds, you can slather some sauce on those ribs. Oh, boy. Brush duty? Hey, Lloyd, get me. I'm on brush duty. Lloyd, I'm handing you the squirt bottle. Now, you mind those flames. Sure thing, Officer Horton. Who wants a toasted bun? Man, Lloyd, isn't this amazing? Me on brush duty and you with the squirt bottle. What an honor. I'm telling you, this year's family reunion has been a real blast. <laughs> Spritz. A blast? I just don't get it. I thought you hated hanging out with your family. Hey, I know. It's weird. But this year I figured, why fight it? I'm going to be stuck with a house full of Hortons anyway. And after I started going with the flow, it turned out to be a pretty fun weekend. Heck, maybe this family junk isn't so bad after all. Hey, Eddie, get over here and pick up these fin bat patties. They're ready for grilling. Be right there, Pop. Here, Lloyd, watch the buns. I'll be right back. <sighs> get it, Father! Get it! Gracious, I've ensnared your father. I suppose now I'll have to catalog him. <laughs> Tommy's up, Tina! Coming at ya, Curly! Here you go, Mom! Here we go, fresh fin bad patties ready for the grill. Prepare to squirt. You know, Eddie, I think you can handle squirt bottle duty without me. I think I'm gonna take off. I understand. Heading over to the mall to catch the last screening of Inversion Guy, aren't you? No, I think I'm just gonna head home. Home? But what about all your big fun plans? Somehow, right now, they don't seem so fun. <sighs> Zismo Beach. World famous family amusement planet. Open seven days a week for family fun, fun, fun. 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday. 9 to 7 on Sunday. 9 to 7? That gives me five hours. Yeah! Five hours! One ticket to Zismo Beach Family Fun Planet, please. Zismo Beach, you say? That's right! Uh, sorry, young man. Last jitney to Zismo left 15 minutes ago. But you could take the number 9 out to Zoil Prime, then transfer to the 45 shuttle at Beyond Duel, then catch the commuter train to the Zetaberg Nebula, and from there take the 4 over to Zismo Beach. Bus 9 departs in two minutes. I'll take it! Traveling alone to Zismo Beach, huh, kid? Yeah, I'm going to meet my mom and sister there. Don't you got it mixed up? Most folks usually go with their families to Zismo Beach. Yeah, I got it mixed up all right. <laughs> yes, sir. I know what it's like to be alone on holidays. Having to drive a couple of million miles every week like I do. Man, are you alone on every holiday? Sure am. Hey, buses don't stop just because it's a holiday. Somebody's got to get folks to where they want to go. You must miss your family a lot. I sure do. Who wouldn't? I sure didn't think I would. Hey, what do you say I throw this bucket of bolts in the hyperdrive and see if we can get to Zismo Beach a couple of minutes ahead of schedule? Thanks, mister. Happy Corkins Day. Thanks yourself, kid. Whoa! Whoa. 
did they go and make Zuzmo Beach so cool? Huh? Closed? No! But, but, I spent all my money getting here. How am I gonna get home? Lloyd? Huh? Lloyd, it is you! Mom, Francine, I found you! Lloyd, what are you doing here? Are you all right? Yeah, sure, Mom. I just, you know, thought you guys need some company, being out here all alone and all. No, Mommy, that's wrong. I read Lloyd's mind and he missed us and came to find us because he had a really bad, lonely time at home without us That's and... enough, Francine. Get in the car, honey. You really missed it, Lloyd. They renuviated Zizmo Beach with lots of rides and shows and candy stores and big funny cartoon animals who walk around and pat you on the head and wave at you. Wow, sounds like you guys had a pretty fun time. We did, Lloyd, but it would have been funner with you. Well, the park may be closing, but the weekend isn't over yet. We've got a long drive home. What do you say we stop off at McZorks for burgers? McZorks? Yay! Hey, anybody want to sing some car songs? Car songs? Yay! How about... If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your antenna. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your antenna. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your antenna. <laughs>